good afternoon all welcome all of you please mention whether the audio video is clear Okay, so let's start. Let me just check. So uh, today we are discussing June 2023 selected questions from different quantitative aptitude topics of uh, general ap uh, aptitude section. Uh, June 2023 PYQs, December 2023 PYQs, uh, both we have run at top 30 or most important CSCR net question series. Those of you missed the previous videos, you can check it out in the uh, channel itself. Uh, you can find the link of the previous sessions also. Okay, so let us start. Please invite your friends. This session is equally useful for all science streams, life science, mathematical science, physical science, chemical science, and earth science. And a special announcement, a very unique series we are starting from next week onwards, 10th April 2024, general aptitude in 30 minutes. In the series, we will be discussing all topics of general aptitude, 30 minutes each, one topic, 30 minutes each. Likewise, uh, almost 40 topics will be covered in the series. Yes, course, CSAR exam, GATE exam and other competitive exams can be useful. Hoga. So, uh, stay tuned, subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon so that you will get update of this. Uh, very soon, we will update the schedule and other things. April 10th, timing most probably will be 8.30 p.m. 8.30 p.m. So, that's it. Uh, if you don't want to miss any of our updates, you can be part of our Telegram channel, WhatsApp group. Uh, mobile application Christie's classes and the website christieworkers.in you can follow for getting more updates. In the description of the video you can find all these links or pause the video and scan these QR code that way also you can join these free resources. Uh, or if you want to get full length training from me for general aptitude section you can join our complete course in Christie's classes mobile application. I have trained more than 2 lakh CSAR net aspirants for general aptitude section in the last 10 years and this is the best seller book I have written for CSCR net part A section which is available in Amazon and Flipkart. So this is the details of the complete course on CSAR net part A. A course where 55 recorded video, complete theory previous year questions and free online study material worth rupees 500 is available with this course itself completely free you can access it. And yes, sessions will be English in English and Hindi. And uh, flashcard series also is available now in the Christie's Classes mobile application. These are the details of the uh, recently launched complete course and the flashcards that is available. And all these resources are equally useful for all these five science streams. And uh, this is a complete course structure, 55 recorded videos, complete theory of all topics, detailed analysis of last 12 years previous year question papers. And speed matrix, shortcut mother, tips and tricks all will be included in this course. And these are the details of the study material available with this course. 100 flashcards, 50 practice worksheets, 50 topic wise study material PDF and 10 test series. This is the complete schedule of the course. All topics of CSAR net part A will be covered in detail in this course. So uh, that is about the complete course. More details you can find in the description of the video. Or download our mobile application so that you will you will be able to see free demo videos also are available in the mobile application of this course for this course and if you want to follow this youtube channel for more uh, playlists you can check out these playlists csr net partaker previous year questions itself 
uh, are discussed in many playlists june 2023 december 2023 september 2022 feb 2022 november 2020 and all previous years question papers we have discussed in this youtube channel so check out that also gate ke liye prepare kar raha to gate ka complete course is available completely free in this channel so you can subscribe the channel and access all these free materials available in this channel so let us start today's topic so today quantitative aptitude topics hum discuss kar raha hai last class mein quantitative aptitude topics mein number system related questions we already discussed today we are discussing important questions from other areas of quantitative aptitude so uh, these flash cards we already uh, uh, discussed yesterday briefly so just a minute okay so let's start this is the first question we are discussing june 2023 uh, a question from uh, finding the x chapter all of you make sure that your friends are also invited to this youtube live lecture anyone who is preparing for any csr net exam or any other competitive exam also you can invite them any answers okay i'll explain if six students occupy a bench one bench will be completely unoccupied if five students occupy each bench instead one student will not find a seat so number of students is so we can equate it into total number of students if x is the number of benches number of benches hame pata nahi hai na to usko main x assume kiya to question says that if six people are sitting in every bench six people six people six people x benches will not be needed one bench less only is needed one bench will be completely unoccupied means x minus one benches ki kaafi hai so one bench mein six people so x minus one bench mein six into x minus one people so that will be the total number of students now another situation mentioned is 
if five students occupy each bench, x benches here, so five students in each bench means five x students. Instead, one student will not find a seat. मतलब five x students seat में है और one student is not on the seat or the bench. That also are students, ना? So five x plus one is equal to total number of students. So six times x minus one, five x plus one. These two will be equal. These two will be equal. क्योंकि दोनों total number of students ही दे रहा है. So these two can be equated. If you equate it, what you will be getting? Six uh, times x minus one is equal to five times x plus one. That is six x minus six is equal to five x plus one. So x is equal to seven. You will get x to number of benches. Hai. Number of students are here. So you have to put that seven either here or here. Both will give you the same answer itself because both are giving you total number of students itself. So five um, times seven, thirty-five plus one, thirty-six will be the answer. This is one way of doing it. Elimination is also okay. Uh, again, uh, that also will take time. That is why direct method itself is enough because equation that is needed to be formed is only one unknown only. So it is not. Uh, uh, not uh, very difficult. So if that is clear, try the next question. Finding the x type question itself, but with the diagram, make a try, all of you. Any answers? Okay, due to lack of time, I will start explaining. Which of the following correspond to x, y, z respectively in the following square, where the sum of elements in each row, column, and diagonal is the same? We have already discussed a Sudoku problem question in the December 2023 top 30 uh, previous year question series. December 2023, four subject papers had similar questions of Sudoku. 
like 9 by 9 by sorry 9 by 9 cells were given and you have to play a sudoku game itself in csr net exam part a section ye iska bahut hi lighter ek version hai kyunki yahan pe sirf 3 by 3 cell diya hai aur condition thoda aur clear hai because you have very less 3 unknowns only and the options are giving you the values of these 3 unknowns itself so substituting also you can do elimination by substitution itself will be enough to solve this question condition kya hai sum of elements in each row this 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 all three should be equal and uh, each sorry each column each row and each diagonal this one and this one all should be equal so start from a row or column or diagonal where all elements are present kaun sa row column diagonal uh, se shuru kar sakta hai aisa koi डायगनल है तो दैट वे यू कैन डू लेट अस चेक एनी रो और कॉलम नो ऑल रो कॉलम और डायगनल हैव एटलीस्ट वन अननोन एलिमेंट दैट इज व्हाई यू कैन सब्स्टिट्यूट ऑप्शन एंड ट्राई दैट विल बी बेटर इफ यू सब्स्टिट्यूट 17 15 13 यहां पे 17 यहां पे 15 और यहां पे 13 है तो 17 15 13 ऐड किया तो क्या मिलेगा 45 मिलेगा नाउ यू हैव टू चेक whether 45 यू आर गेटिंग फॉर ऑल अदर Uh, row column and diagonal sum 15 14 16 add kiya to bhi 45 milega that is correct and this sum also let us check 16 11 seven, 17 17 17 34 uh, it will be 44 only that is not 45 so option a eliminate kar sakta hai because this sum is 44 one row one column or one diagonal contradicting itself will eliminate the option so option a eliminate kiya same way option b option b me 18 15 12 likha hai 18 15 12 18 15 12 substitute kiya to kya milega 18 15 12 if you substitute here the sum will be 18 plus 15 plus 12 that is 45 itself 45 means this sum if it is 18 18 plus 16 plus 11 is 45 this is 15 15 plus 13 plus 17 is also 45 this is uh, 12 12 plus 19 plus 20, 14 is also 45 similarly iska sum bhi 45 hai iska sum bhi 45 hai iska sum bhi 45 hai check it out so option b is totally correct i hope all of you understood not very difficult yeah you have to try one by one that will take some time but it is doable in less lesser time so this one i will come back to try this question this is a very good question all these are questions from the june 2023 csr net question papers of all five subjects answers
Okay, so I'll explain. In a round robin tournament, round robin tournament means a tournament where every team will play with every other team exactly once. Like uh, the IPL um, matches currently conducted, that is not exactly as round robin, but uh, initially years it was double round robin. Double round robin means every team will play with every other team exactly twice. But now it is not round robin or double round robin because it is according to the number of total matches they prepare the schedule. Yeah, that is what I understand that one team will not play with all other team twice. Some team twice and some team once only. That is, I think, the current schedule of IPL. Those of you know more about the schedule, you can mention in the comments or chat. But uh, if every team play exactly once with every other team, that is called round robin. If every team play exactly with every other team two times, that is called double round robin. So here round robin tournament, eight teams. And win means three points for that team and draw means one point for that team. That means losing no points, zero points. After each team had played four matches, after each team had played four matches, total of the points of the teams was 34. Let us start from here. After each team play four matches means how many matches totally are conducted? Some of you may say that eight teams, so 18 to 4, 32 matches. That is wrong. 32 matches nahi chahiye. 32 ka aadha matches hi chahiye. Kyoki har match mein two teams ko chance mil raha hai. Matlab, har match mein two teams ka 1-1 one -one match ho raha hai. Two teams ka 1-1 one -one match. So total, total 8 teams ka total 32 matches. So 32 matches ke liye sirf 16 match ka pi hai. Kyoki 16 matches mein 32 teams participate karega. So 32 matches mil raha hai. So I hope all of you understood why it is only 16 matches. I have explained in detail in this PD, PPT. So 16 matches only are there. Two teams play one match. So 16 matches with that perspective you have to read the question further. The total of the points of the team was 34. 16 matches may 34 points mila. Of, uh, of the teams, all the teams together 34. So, number of drawn games among these, among those played till then was. Now, I will use a technique called iteration technique. Hame pata hai 16 match hai. 16 match mein all match are non-drawn match means. Her match, draw, zero draw match hai. Aisa situation mein, her match mein ek team win karega, dusra team lose karega. So, 3 plus zero points milega, dono team mila ke. So, 16 into 3 plus 0 means 16 into 3, 48 points total. But question says total 34 points only all teams, all matches, all teams together. This is all no draw case. All no draw case or no draw case. No draw match case. All draw case kya hoga? All matches draw, draw mein in kiya to 16 matches hai, har match mein 1 plus 1, 2 point milega. Why 2 point? Dono team ka 1, 1 point milega. That is the meaning of draw 1 point. Because dono team ka equal or equal share hai na draw ka, draw me. So 16 into 2, 32 points only if all are draw. If all are drawn. Hame 32 nahi 34 chahiye. 34 chahiye to all draw nahi hai. All draw hai to 34 hoga. Number of drawn games pucha hai. 16 draw games nahi chahiye. 15 draw games hai to. 15 draw games hai to. Ek game. Uh, ek team ne win kiya. What is the difference between draw game and no draw game? Draw game mein har uh, match mein 2 points. No draw mein 3 plus 0 3 point. Matlab ek no draw game mein 3 point add hoga. And... 2 points subtract hoga if draw, point, draw match is replaced as a no draw match. Matlab 3 minus 2, 1 ka increase hoga. 32 ka 1 nahi, 2 ka increase karna hai. Is liye, all draw match ka number 2 kam karna hai. Or no draw, sorry, uh, 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 draw match ka number 2 kam karna hai. Or no draw match ka number 2 siyada karna hai. Matlab, 
ऑल सिक्सटीन रो नहीं सिक्सटीन जीरो नहीं फोर्टीन टू होना चाहिए फोर्टीन मैचेस ड्रो आई विल शो यू दो सफ यू डिडेंट अंडरस्टैंड फोर्टीन मैचेस ड्रो है तो फोर्टीन इंटू टू ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट्स टू मैच विन है तो टू इंटू थ्री सिक्स पॉइंट्स तो ट्वेंटी एट प्लस सिक्स एक्सैक्टली थर्टी फोर सो थर्टी फोर मिल रहा है कब फोर्टीन मैच ड्रो है तो तो ऑप्शन डी आंसर है सबको क्लियर है those of you are not getting idea of this iteration technique iteration technique is a technique that is used in many questions but if you are not very clear about it i have given a, uh, a youtube live series itself 15 shortcut methods for general aptitude check it out in this channel uh, if you are not aware about different methods you can use elimination method also option a answer hai to draw match ka number 7 hai to total hame pata hai 16 matches hua hai सो नो ड्रो मैच का नंबर नाइन होना चाहिए ना ड्रो मैच में सेवन इंटू टू फोर्टीन पॉइंट्स नो ड्रो मैच में नाइन इंटू थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट्स फोर्टीन प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन थर्टी फोर नहीं है थर्टी फोर मिलना चाहिए ना तो ऑप्शन ए इज रॉन्ग ऑप्शन टू टू ड्रो मैच है तो बाकी फोर्टीन नो ड्रो मैच है टू ड्रो मैच का फोर पॉइंट फोर्टीन नो ड्रो मैच का फोर्टीन इंटू थ्री फोर्टी टू पॉइंट्स या फोर्टी सिक्स है थर्टी फोर नहीं तो ऑप्शन बी बी एलिमिनेट सिक्स ड्रो मैच है तो बाकी सिक्सटीन में टेन नो ड्रो मैच है मतलब वन टीम विन वन टीम लूज मैच है सिक्स ड्रो मैच का पॉइंट ट्वेल्व है टेन विन मैच का पॉइंट टेन इंटू थ्री थर्टी है सो ट्वेल्व प्लस थर्टी फोर्टी टू फोर्टी टू नहीं थर्टी फोर मिलना चाहिए फाइनली फोर्टीन है तो फोर्टीन एंड रिमाइनिंग टू विन मैच फोर्टीन ड्रॉ मैच का ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट टू विन मैच का सिक्स पॉइंट थर्टी फोर ऐसा भी कर सकता है बट फॉर ऑल दीज विच एवर मदर फर्स्ट यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई सिक्सटीन मैच टू प्लेस ईच ऑप्शन सब्सटीट्यूशन इज गिवन इन डिटेल हियर दीज नॉट इन डिटेल ऑफ ऑल टॉपिक्स ऑल प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन इफ यू वॉन्ट इन अवर कंप्लीट कोर्स रिकॉर्डेड कोर्स Uh, our study materials itself, you can get all topic by topic uh, questions and its solution. So all of you understood this, please respond. Little time-consuming question, but this is how to do it. Now we will discuss probability-based questions asked. So make a try, all of you.
Okay, so I'll explain. Two cards are drawn together at random from a deck of 52 playing cards. What is the probability to get one red and one black? Here you should understand one red and one black means first one red okay, second one black hona, that is one possibility. First one black okay, second one red hona, that is another possibility. These are two different cases, please understand. Question didn't say first one itself red and second one black. Then that is independent, sorry, then that is, uh, 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 then that is uh, the case where only one, one case of, uh, is there. If it is first one red, first one black. But here, one red, one black means red, black, black, red, dono possible. Dono ka probability find karke, dono ko add karna hai. And and or ka idea. You should know the idea of and and or in probability. So, red, first one red, second one black. You should know that 52 cards mein aadha red or aadha black hai. 26, blue nahi red. Uh, black black lika hai na yeah black so 26 black or 26 red day so red and black ka probability probability ka basic definition ya hai record outcome divided by total outcome record outcome kitna hai red milna 26 cases hai out of total 52 cards are there na so 26 by 52 hoga first one red milna ka chance now question mein likha nahi hai that there is a replacement happened with the replacement, without replacement, that are two major cases that can happen. Here, question mein kuch mention nahi hai, replacement hua ya hai nahi, hua ya nahi. If there is no mention means, replacement haven't happened. Because if replacement happened, that should be mentioned in the question. So, nothing mentioned means, no replacement. No replacement means, first one red means that red card is missing in the card, missing in the deck, that is, 52 cards nahi hai, 51 cards hi bacha hai. Usme black cards ka number kitna hoga? 26 black cards hai na. Red card kam hua, black card ka number abhi bhi 26 hai. So 26 by 51. And means multiplication. Fundamental principle of counting multiplication rule. If one thing can be done in M ways, another thing in N ways. Both the thing together can be done in M into N ways. So 26 by 52 into 26 by 51. Multiplying you will get the probability of first one red and second one black. Abhi first one black and second one red, same logic. 26 by 52 cards are there, which are red in color. Abhi wo, sorry, which are black in color. Wo black card uh, remove kiya, matlab 51 cards hi bacha hai, usme red ka chance 26 out of 51 hoga na, because 26 red cards are there. So, 20, ye dono add kiya to answer milega. This is half, this is half. So, half plus half is full. So, 26 into 26 by 51 will be the answer, option C. All of you understood this? In detail, on my probability lecture, we discuss different cases of this. Uh, Bitto, yeah, that CSAR expects you to know. That is, uh, again, I understand that uh, some students may not be aware about the number of cards or what is playing cards ka uh, kya kya hai. That is why you should basically know that there are two colors of color of cards, red cards and blue black cards. 52 cards, half will be red, half will be black. That is 26 red, 26 black. And this 52 cards are arranged according to symbols also. That is hearts, uh, spade, clubs and um, diamond. So these four symbols. So equally divided means 52 by 4 each symbol have 13 cards each basically this much you should know then the number number written is 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then jack queen king and ace these are the 13 cards in every symbol so that means every sim every number or letter have four such cards because every symbols may a card hoga so this is a basic idea about cards. Okay. Probability ka or bhi questions or bhi question papers mein aaya tha 2023 mein. We will discuss one or two more probability question. Ye question dekhiye. Gate exam mein same question aaya tha. Four ka jaga kuch or number tha. But same question was asked in gate exam. June 2023 CSAR exam mein same question repeat hua. That is why please practice gate exam questions also. That will help you for CSAR preparation. And 
full length complete course for gate is already available in the channel Okay, I'll explain. Two fair cubical dice are thrown. Like you play snake and ladder or ludo, the dice that you are throwing. Two dice are thrown means these are the 36 outcomes that can happen. First dice may one, second may two. First may one, second may two. First may one, second may three up to one, six. Then first may two, second may one. Then two, 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 three up to two, six. Up to six, one, six, two up to six, six. These are the 6 into 6, 36 outcomes. What is the probability that at least one of them shows 4? Kam se kam ek mein 4 show karna hai. Kam se kam ek mein matlab, ek mein ya dono mein. Matlab, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3 up to 4, 6. Ye 6 possibilities are okay na. Required outcome by total outcome is tot probability. So, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6. Ye sab required outcomes hai. नहीं है तो 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 5, 4, 6, 4, ये भी ओके है ना, 4 सेकेंड में, 4, 4 भी ओके है, so total required outcomes कितना है, 12 नहीं 11, because 4, 4 is counted in both, it should only be counted once, that means 11 outcomes, these are the 11 outcomes, this 4, 4 don't count it twice, so only once, that is 11 outcomes, out of total outcome कितना है, Required by total, a yeah, successful outcome number divided by total possible outcomes. 36 I already discussed, 6 into 6, fundamental principle of counting. So, 11 out of 36, option B is the correct answer. Is this clear? Please respond. This is another probability question which is a hybrid question. Blood relation ka bhi idea hai. In detail, uh, I have mentioned it in the slide. In the complete course, we are discussing these questions in detail. Probability as we already discussed two, three questions. We will go to the next question. We will see us uh, all major topics, one, one questions at least. So, permutation combination ka question hai ye. Try this all of you.
the question says in a meeting of 45 people there are 40 people who knew one another so i will call them x1 x2 x3 f2 x40 40 people who knew one another those who knew one another will hug each other matlab ye 40 people will hug each other and the remaining people know no one so i will call them a b c d e they don't know each other also they don't know x1 x2 x3 f2 x40 also People who knew each other only hug, whereas those who do not know each other only shake hands. How many shake hands occur in this meeting? I will start from the perspective of A. The person A don't know B, C, D, E, so A will handshake with B, C, D, E. A don't know X1, X2, X3, F2, X40 also, so they will handshake with those 40 people also. So 40 plus 4, 44 people A will handshake. Similarly, B will handshake 44 people itself, but A to B handshake is already done. Handshake is a mutual thing. Like if someone handshake you, you will not uh, go to them after 5 minutes and tell that, okay, you handshaken me, but what about me handshaking you? No. If they handshake you, that means you gave a handshake to them. That is already done. A to B handshake is same as B to A handshake. That is what we call in permutation combination chapter. Order does not matter. A to B, B to A. Rearrange kiya to naya arrangement nahi milega. Naya arrangement mila to you have to use permutation. Naya arrangement nahi mil raha to you have to use combination. That is the basic difference between permutation and combination. So here even permutation combination formula is not needed because just 5 people and you can manually count them. A, 44 handshake. B, 44 handshake but A to B handshake is already counted in this 44. So no need to repeat that. So B will handshake with everyone else except A. So 43 handshake only. C already handshaken with A and B that is counted in these two numbers. That is why 42 more. D, 41 more because 3 handshakes already done. D, 40 more because 4 handshakes already done. Question is only asking handshake number. So, wo handshake number ye 5 values ka sum hai. Ye 5 values ka sum 210 hoga. So, option C, 210 is the answer. This is one way of doing it. There are other ways also. But this itself is easy. All clear? Then let's see a geometry, a mensuration problem. Make a try, all of you. Okay, I'll explain. It's a comparatively sing simple problem. Figure shows the map of a field bounded by A, B, C, D. If A, B and D are perpendicular to A, so this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, then the perimeter of the field, perimeter means boundary is added. Matlab A, B plus A, E plus E, D plus D, C plus C, B added is the answer. A, B already pata hai 15, A, E already pata hai 15, hai A, a, uh, D, E also, also 15. So, ye do values bhi find karke add kiya to answer milega. Ye do values kaisa find kar sakta hai. There are many ways of so solving this. I will tell you the easy way. 
easy way is you know that um, if this is 30 if you draw a perpendicular line or if you join BD then AEBD is a rectangle sorry square A15 A, AB15 A dono 15 A, so clearly a square square A matlab A angle B will be 60 degree and angle D will be 60 degree a 60, A 60 है तो ये भी 60 होना चाहिए. Angle sum property of triangles. Angle sum property ये भी 60 है. तो ये equilateral triangle हो गया. Equilateral means a triangle whose all sides are equal. Equiangular भी है, equilateral भी है. So ये ये तीनों 60 है, तो ये तीनों sides भी equal होना चाहिए. So ये दोनों 15 होना ही चाहिए. That is how we confirm that this is 15, this is 15. And that adding, adding those 15, you will get the answer. 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15. That is 15 into 5 is the answer. 15 into 5 is 75. Option B is the answer. Geometry, mensuration, dono ka idea involved hai. Ye bhi ek probability ka question hai. Try this as homework. Iska detailed solution diya hai is slide mein. Post the video and check the solution. We will go to another area we haven't discussed. Syllogism idea or Venn diagram related problem. Syllogism or Venn diagram related problem. Make a try. This kind of question is frequently asked in the last few years. Earlier it was not asked but from November 2020 CSAR net onwards. That is after COVID began. They started asking this kind of question frequently. You should understand the exact model of CSER net part A. Don't just practice any, any questions. Uh, then you may be wasting your time on preparing the wrong, uh, uh, wrong content. So you should exactly know what is there in CSER exam. In the latest exam, what is the trend that is, uh, that is maintained by CSER? So I am analyzing CSAR net previous year question paper or I am closely following CSAR net part A section in the last 10 to 11 years. So there I exactly know how the pattern is changing or how CSAR is, which area they are concentrating more. So nowadays they are asking these kinds of questions more. So uh, as I told, check out this YouTube channel if you want to learn more from me. And if you want a more structured, ordered, uh, proper course, join our paid course, complete course on CSA and general aptitude. Uh, the link is there in the description of this video and I will tag it in the comment section also. The mobile application link by which you can join our course and the flashcards. So try this. Okay, I'll explain. An appropriate diagram to depict the relationship between the categories insects, birds, extinct animals and peacocks. So, basically, syllogism wala questions may ye ideas use kar sakta. If all x or y means x is subset of y. And if no x or y means x and y should be disjoint sets. If some x or y means this is what we are meaning, this intersection part. If some x are not y means this area where 
this x are not y. This x is not inside y. So by this idea, now you have to know basically general knowledge about insects, birds, extinct animals, peacocks are needed. So, uh, uh, Bittu insects means, uh, again, what is a Hindi word for insects? I don't know. Uh, the small insects are there, na? the small creatures that is, um, yeah, those of you know the Hindi word for insects, comment in the chat. Uh, extinct animals means an animals is which which was present but not present anymore like dinosaurs are extinct animals so uh, dinosaurs dinosaurs what is the exact pronunciation uh, i am confused but uh, that is an extinct animal extinct animals means animals which were present in the universe but now not present so the connection between these uh, objects are all peacocks are birds now Peacock is a subset of birds. All peacocks are bird means all X R Y means X is in, X is inside Y na. So peacock set should be inside the bird set. So if this is peacock set, that will be inside the bird set. No insects are birds. Insects and birds are two distinct, uh, different set then, set na. So no insect is a bird. So if this is insect set. Insect and bird have no intersection because no X or Y means disjoint dis set. Hona Some birds are extinct animals. Wo bhi sahi hai na? Kuch birds extinct animal set mein hai. Extinct animals. Extinct animal ka set ye hai to. Animals means birds also. Animals means animal kingdom. Don't think birds are not animals. No, birds are also animals. Extinct creatures. That way you can think. Because... Birds and animals both are part of the animal kingdom. No? Some birds are extinct animals. This intersection. Some insects are extinct animals. That also is true. No? Some insects. These are from common knowledge you have to understand or write this. Some insects are in extinct animals. Because some insects are extinct. No? Which was present but not present now. No peacock are extinct. Peacock extinct animal. Nahi hai. Peacocks are present now also. No? Yeah, it is whether it can be an endangered species but not an extinct species. No peacocks are insects. Peacocks and insects are two different species. Na? So, from this Venn diagram, you have to check which option says so. Only option that is matching all these criteria is option C. That is one thing is completely inside another. One circle is totally out of another. One circle is having, two circles have intersection with uh, other. All these are satisfied in option C. So, option C is the answer. Sabko clear hai na? I'm trying to show you all variety questions. This was a question from work and time chapter. Work and time chapter also. Earlier it was not asked at all. But last 2-3 years they have started asking it. Last 2-3 years what I have observed is CSAR ka aptitude, non-verbal aptitude of gate exam se siyada match kar raha hai. Earlier bhi many questions were similar. But last 2-3 years, the similarity is even more. Gate non-verbal ability and CSER pathway section is more or less same now. Only general science, CSER asked very... Earlier general science ka number bhi siyada tha. But as now it is becoming more similar to gate. General science ka number bohut almost zero hai old papers mein. So, and work and time, these are questions. Again, her exam is not here, but uh, like every year, one question paper will have one question from that. That way it is asked.
ओके सो यू एक्सप्लेन सो वर्क एंड टाइम चैप्टर का बेसिक थियरी हैव समराइज्ड इन दिस फ्लैश कार्ड and there are two major ways of doing work and time problem one is called unitary method one is called lcm method we will discuss that in detail in the work and time detail lecture in the complete course so lcm method i am using here lcm method me take the lcm of the duration as the total time or sorry total work in this question 15 days and 21 days so lcm of 15 and 21 One not five days, sorry, one not five. Let that be the total work. I always tell work and time chapter properly understand करने के लिए chocolate वाला example और pizza वाला example use कर सकता है. Total work assume it as eating chocolates. So one not five means eating one not five chocolates is the work done by both of them. So if A and B are the two people, one day work of each of them let us calculate. 15 days me 105 chocolate 105 was an example we took taking example is totally okay so 105 days me 15 chocolate means ek din me kitna chocolate 1 by 15 the 105 na so 7 chocolates in a day similarly 21 days me b pura kaam karega to ek din me 1 by 21 kaam karega na pura kaam 105 chocolates ka na hai so uska 1 by 21 hi karega one day me b so that is 5 So one day seven chocolates by A, one day five chocolates by B. Now question say they work on alternate days starting from B. B starting on the first day. Alternate days means first day B then A, then B then A. So first day B means five chocolates they B will eat. Second day A means seven chocolates. So five plus seven twelve chocolates. Again five seven twelve. Again five seven twelve. You need to make this. Uh, into one not five total work means one not five chocolates, na. So twelve, 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 twelve. If you add ninety six is a multiple of twelve. Ninety six is a multiple of twelve. Twelve into eight is ninety six. Twelve into eight means yeah, there is a uh, typing error. Second, third, fourth. Is fifth six the fifth is missing. So after sixteenth, after sixteenth, um, I will just edit it. Ye fifth hai, ye sixth hai, ye seventh, ye eighth, ye ninth, ye tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth. 16th means 8 set of 12 8 set of 12 8 into 12 chocolates are completely eaten 8 into 12 chocolates 8 into 12 was 96 abhi 105 reach karne ke liye 9 more chocolates add karna kafi hai na 9 chocolates add karne ke liye 2 din nahi chahiye kyunki next day 17th day mein b is working that means 5 more chocolate 96 plus 5 101 अभी 105 रीच करने के लिए फोर मोर चॉकलेट्स काफी है एटीन डे में सेवन चॉकलेट्स पूरा खा सकता है सेवन चॉकलेट नहीं चाहिए चार चॉकलेट ही चाहिए सेवन में चार मतलब एक दिन का पूरा नहीं चाहिए फोर बाई सेवन ऑफ ए डे इज इनफ अदरवाइज इफ यू आर नॉट ओके विद दैट फ्रैक्शन पार्ट एंड ऑल वॉट आई कैन सजेस्ट यूज यूज ऑप्शन सेवनटीन और एटीन में एटीन के बीच में होना चाहिए आंसर 17 और 18 के बीच में एक ही ऑप्शन है ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टैंड वर्क एंड टाइम का क्वेश्चन था सो दैट इज हाउ टू डू दैट वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ज्योमेट्री काउंटिंग ऑफ पॉलीगन्स वी विल डिस्कस सो दोस ऑफ यू आर फीलिंग द सेशन इज यूजफुल मेक श्योर यू हिट द लाइक बटन एंड यू कमेंट ऑन दिस वीडियो एंड ट्राई टू पर्सनली शेयर दिस वीडियो टू मैक्सिमम सीएससीआर नेट एस्पायरेंट्स एज पॉसिबल So try this, all of you.
ओके सो एल एक्सप्लेन बिटू प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन में डाउट है फोर बाई सेवन डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड टेल सेवनटीन डे बिटू सेवनटीन डे तक सिक्सटीन डे तक नाइन्टी सिक्स सो सेवनटीन डे में नाइन्टी सिक्स प्लस फाइव वन नॉट वन एटीन डे पूरा हुआ तो वन नॉट वन प्लस सेवन वन नॉट एट होगा ना हमें सिर्फ वन नॉट फाइव चाहिए था सो ये सेवन का इंक्रीज नहीं चाहिए फोर का इंक्रीज ही चाहिए सो सेवन में सिर्फ फोर सेवन के लिए पूरा दिन चाहिए सो फोर के लिए सेवन में से फोर काफी है ना लाइक इफ ए डे इज डिवाइडेड इनटू सेवन इक्वल पोर्शंस, फोर ऑफ दोज पोर्शन इज इनफ टू कंप्लीट फोर वर्क इंस्टेड ऑफ सेवन वर्क दैट इज द आइडिया so uh, due to lack of time i will start this question straight lines drawn inside a rectangle can create multiple rectangles of different size the lines can intersect each other minimum number of straight lines needed so as to result in nine rectangles ek rectangle ke andar lines dekh ke nine rectangle form karna hai kitna lines minimum chahiye you may think that 4 5 6 etc are needed but only two lines are enough ये ओरिजिनल रेक्टेंगल है तो एक वर्टिकल लाइन और एक हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन काफी है वाई वन टू थ्री फोर दीज आर स्मॉल फोर रेक्टेंगल्स ना और भी रेक्टेंगल्स है फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंड नाइन देर इज अ टॉपिक इन सी एस आर नेट पार्टे कॉल काउंटिंग ऑफ पॉलीगन्स ये काउंटिंग ऑफ पॉलीगन्स का एक वेराइटी वर्शन है क्योंकि इंस्टेड ऑफ डायरेक्टली गिविंग अ पिक्चर एंड काउंट दे हैव आस्ड यू टू ड्रॉ द और इमेजिन द पिक्चर एंड देन काउंट नाइन सबको क्लियर है ना आई हैव रिप्रेजेंटेड इट हियर वन टू थ्री फोर देन सिमिलरली फाइव एंड हियर सिक्स हियर सेवन हियर एट हियर नाइन सो नाइन रेक्टेंगल के लिए टू लाइन्स काफी है सो मिनिमम पूछा है ऑप्टिमाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम है मिनिमम टू है ऑल क्लियर So try this permutation combination question also. Its a detailed explanation given. If all these question detailed explanation, detailed solution, uh, and detailed learning of all these questions, if you want, you all are welcome to be part of our complete course where we discuss all these topics in detail. We discussed many chapters today, na? Many chapter questions. All of these chapters in separate lectures we'll be discussing in the complete course. This is the full schedule. Yeah, there are two more lectures we'll be adding in this schedule uh, to cover two more important area which I was I have been mentioned in the syllabus. Sorry, in the schedule. So, for example, uh, permutation combination का ही three different topics are there. Fundamental principle of counting, anagram and number rearrangement, permutation combination. Then geometry. Now we discuss the counting of polygon idea. Na that is discussed in a separate lecture. and mensuration ka mensuration ka bhi ek question perimeter wala question that is discussed in a, in three lectures mensuration related questions and finding the x chapter also we discussed today questions based on that so all these areas will be discussing in detail syllogism venn diagram will be covered in venn diagram chapter so all of you are welcome to be part of the complete course for csr net general aptitude where Previous year questions, theory, practice questions, everything will be there in a single course. So uh, check the description of the video and comment section. I will pin the link to download the mobile application. Mobile application, whether you join the uh, course or not, uh, you can get a lot of study materials just by downloading the mobile application Christie's classes from Google Play Store. Because we have uploaded many demo videos, many free materials. many free flash cards also uh, in the app already and if you want 100 flash cards that you can buy at uh, a nominal price uh, some important flash cards already we have uploaded completely free free in this complete course uh, playlist itself sorry in the complete course course page itself so and this uh, if you are joining the course no need to buy the flash card separately because as part of the course already the flash cards are included and uh, once again uh, letting you all know in case you are not able to join the complete course and want to learn general aptitude from me a general aptitude practice course we are starting from next week 
where we are not discussing CSAR net PYQs. CSAR net PYQs will be discussed in the complete course, but extra practice questions. That is why this course is equally useful for those people who join the complete course, those people who didn't join the complete course. General aptitude in 30 minutes, that is the series where every topic in 30 minutes in very uh, precise manner we will be covering each topic in detail. So, uh, theory we will be discussing and practice questions uh, also we will be discussing in the series. And this series is not only useful for CSCR net, it is useful for CSCR net, gate, UPSC exams, uh, PSC exams, bank exams uh, and other exams also because the general theory of all important topics we are covering in this series. So, try to support this initiative and by sharing it to maximum people. Tomorrow, you will get the schedule of that in this channel. Uh, you can uh, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any update. And try to invite your friends to be part of this channel so that more people will be there in this community. Those of you want printed study material for CSCR Net Part A, this book which I have written, you can check it out in Amazon and Flipkart. So that's it. Thank you all of you. Uh, take care all of you. So the 30 question series for CSCR Net Part A, June 2023 also we completed. December 2023 series we already completed before this. So now we completed June 2023 30 questions also. Please let me know in the comment section whether you want similar series of previous years before June 2023 also. That is September 2022, Feb 2022, November 2020. This series also if you want, do let me know in the live chat and in the comment section. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's conclude for today. Uh, share this video to maximum people and do comment on this video. And do check the description of this video to get the links of all free resources and the link to join our complete course also. So thank you, take care, bye-bye, have a good day.